There are moments when we realize that HEB's Emily Madden is a creative genius, <laughs> and this might be one such moment. What are you making for us today? Well, football is upon us, oh. so we need game day snacks. We do. Everybody loves a jalapeno popper. I like them very much. But they're kind of hard to keep up with, keeping them hot, mm -hmm. making them all the time mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. all your guests. So yes. we're going to make a jalapeno popper cheese ball. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so we we're going to start with a block of cream cheese, and then we're going to add in some cheddar. You always want to start your cheese ball off with cream cheese. Almost every cheese ball will start okay. with cream cheese. It's a very um, gluey cheese, if okay. you will. So the order is important. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to use our fajita <laughs> fajita grilling rub oh, in there. That's great. That's a great little. Mm -hmm. yeah, it smells really good. And then I'm going to add our candied jalapenos. What's awesome about these is that they're sweet and then they get spicy. So oh. you're going to have kind of a two tone a back end of flavor. There. Yeah. There. And this is kind of cheese ball season. Like when we start with football, we go all the way through the holidays. Exactly. So yeah. So this can work for game day, tailgate. potlucks, tailgating, Thanksgiving, whatever. Or when you're just home by yourself. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to eat this much cheese by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. And then we're going to add in bacon. We still had some hatch bacon okay. in store, yeah. so I chose to use that. Yeah, the I'll best way to do the cheese ball is to use your hands. Yeah. Because if you try to do this with a spatula or a spoon, it's going to take you forever. So and plus, what's the fun in that? Get in there with your hands. Um, make sure to wash them very well if you're going to use peppers, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you don't want to go and touch your eye with no, that, and you're that'll right. ruin and you can, your day. And you could play with, obviously, as you encourage the ingredients in there, if people wanted to really go spicy, then you'd really want to be careful. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm sure there's plenty of heat on these, too. But oh, there, yeah, there's yeah. a really good amount of heat in there. So you're just going to kind of, you want to break up the cream cheese mm -hmm. and work everything together. So we're just squeezing and mm -hmm. kind of like if you're kneading dough a little yeah. bit, how you kind of, you kind of fold over and you press in. going to come so much quicker with this. Oh, yeah, you don't have to wait forever <laughs> no. for it. So now, uh, when I throw thing. parties, I like, I'll make a big batch of this, but I'll separate it into two. Okay. So that way, um, the first guests get a nice fresh cheese ball and the people that come oh, a little man. later get something nice and fresh as well. But an Emily Madden party is an out of this world There's experience. There's a lot of awesome food. With the snacks, if, if you do say so yourself. Yeah. So we're just pressure, gonna, Emily. I know, I know yeah. right? Yeah. So we're just going to form this into a ball because yeah. it's a cheese ball. Yeah. And now we need something to put on the outside. So I crushed up some Cheetos. Yes, you did. Like you do. And you, you know, you, oh man, look at that. Um, a lot of people will coat their cheese ball in nuts. Um, sunflower yeah. seeds are Sometimes really I try nice. To work around those. So, but this you want to pack it on there. Oh goodness, you could even go the flaming hot Cheetos. Oh, you could absolutely yeah, go the flaming yeah. hot Cheetos. Not that this isn't going to be um, delightful. These are the jalapeno cheddar, mm -hmm. which are my personal oh, favorite. Okay, yeah, my personal favorite Cheeto is the jalapeno cheddar. And so now we have the nice bright orange. That's pretty. Cheese ball. That's very pretty. That's the hit of the tailgate. Oh, absolutely. And then you just need some crackers. I like a nice assortment of crackers. Yeah, um, you want something sturdy. You don't, want a, you don't want a very flimsy cracker because you want it to hold up. And you're trusty this deal. Uh, it's a cheese knife. <laughs> cheese knife. Very technical name. Yeah. <laughs> and don't be this guy. Sometimes don't I, be that guy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that guy. Don't be that guy. No one likes I'm that a, guy. I'm classy. Took Emily a few seconds to Ooh, make yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice. But how quick was that? Mm -hmm. It was very, it was so very quick. quick. Um, and you can cook the bacon in the oven so you're not making a big mess on the stove. Mm. Really good. Nice crunch from the Cheeto. Mm. Not too spicy. Bacony. It's wonderful. And easy. So let's so, get our game on. So many flavors. Emily, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. As always.